In the last few hours, China's President Xi Jinping, accompanied by his equally influential First Lady Peng Liuan, arrived to a fully-fledged red carpet reception at Heathrow. And he should have felt at home in more ways than one, especially as China owns 10% of this major world airport. Just one sign of Beijing's increasing economic interests in the UK. But he arrived just as China's burgeoning production of cheap steel was bringing yet more bad news for Britain's shrinking steel companies. Speaking to me ahead of his president's arrival, I asked China's ambassador to the UK whether British steel workers should fear closer ties with his country. I think, um, you know, when we are in the age of uh, globalization, every country have to make adjustment. You know, like China used to be very strong in processing uh, clothes, shoes, toys. I think China provides 80, 90 percent of the toys to the world. It's no more the case. China is making an adjustment. I think why not Britain? Trade and cultural links were at the heart of George Osborne's recent visit, and the Chancellor was praised in China for not publicly lecturing them about human rights. But the issue of China's security clamped down on dissidents is sure to come up during the visit. I asked the ambassador how China would react. Some Westerners, politicians, media people, they only focus on some individual cases, but they miss the big picture. China elevated 800 million people out of poverty just within 30 years of time. It's a miracle. No country has done that. I think Chinese people are living longer, living happier, and they enjoy their life. I think that's a basic right for human. But these cases will continue to be raised. So my, my question is, can China have a strong economic relations with a country which is at the same time criticizing its human rights record? I think people in UK will care more about their jobs, about their better life, about their education. That's the same true for the people in China. So the government leaders have to find a common ground, how we can work together for common good. Only a year ago, Beijing was warning that Britain was lagging behind other European countries in engaging with China. The next four days of deal-making and diplomacy will show how things have changed. Raggio Omar, News at 10.